Hey everybody, this is Darren. I'm going to give you uh, a little rundown today, well maybe over the next few days, and I may just stitch a bunch of videos together so this may jump around some. But uh, I decided I was going to do something that I'm going to call the State of the Store. It's kind of like the State of the Union that the President gives every year, you know, uh, where he tells you what's going on with the country. Uh, I'm an LGS. Uh, those of you that are watching this hopefully are uh, local customers, some of my regulars or will be regulars or my occasionals. Uh, I don't expect this video to get a lot of views from people who don't know what Grove Gamers Guild is, uh, but it's going to be maybe a little bit of state of the small LGS. That's a local game store if you're not fam familiar. Sometimes the FLGS, a friendly local game store. Uh, that's what I like to think I am. I've got a small location in Mountain Grove, Missouri, and uh, I try to provide for the local gaming community, which I think that I've done a pretty good job of helping to build up in the last seven years I've been here. This is this is a labor of love. It's not a labor of getting rich. Uh, it's not even a labor of making money, per se. I'm not independently wealthy by any means. Um, but it is a labor of love to, to give back to a community that I think uh, maybe gets overlooked somewhat. Uh, in this day and age. It's also, for me, a way to provide something that I didn't have when I was a kid. Uh, I didn't have anything near like this. I mean, you had pool halls and you had, uh, you just didn't have anything like this. You know, maybe you had a friend's house where you could go and play a game or something. You know, I got introduced to D&D at a pretty late age of about, uh, gosh, I was 16 or 17 when I, when I first played. And uh, that was at someone's house, you know. And there just wasn't a place like a local game store where where you could go and, and you could just hang out and talk about all your your nerdy favorites, you know, your movies, your games, whatever. So that's, that's the big thing I want to provide here at the Guild is that kind of place for people. And, uh, and if I'm doing a good job, I want you to tell me. If I'm not, I want to know that too. I want to know what I could do to make it better. So part of this is going to be an outreach to you guys to find out how can we make the guild better? What, what's it lacking? Is, is there something else we can do? Uh, only the truly invested of you are even going to watch this. But uh, again, I hope to, uh, to hit on a few things. I'll probably run off a couple of these tonight uh, and add another section in a minute. But that's... That's just uh, that's just a little overview of what I'm hoping to do, and you can see I've burned up three minutes, and I've already learned that videos that go over six seconds or whatever are basically worthless. Uh, but that's for a rant, uh, which I've done before. So anyway, I'm gonna burn this one off right now, and uh, probably clip on another one in a minute. Thanks. So while I'm rolling right here, I might as well go ahead and say a few things that I know I've got prepared and ready to go with, and that is that for me personally here at the Guild, uh, I'm in a small town, less than 5,000, you know, in an area surrounding me within a half hour drive, maybe 60,000 people, according to Facebook, you know, 40 to 60,000 people, so it's small, and I'm never going to have a big store opportunity, I'm not, not interested in a big store opportunity. I want to provide for the small store, but I can tell you that over the years I've grown. Um, this past year was my best year yet. Uh, every year's been growth, but 20 plus percent this last year now that I moved up on the square. So if you haven't come out to the guild because maybe you didn't know where I was because I was I was in the boonies sort of, you know, back behind the old Connection Entertainment. Uh, now I'm just off the square. I'm easy to find, so come out and check me out. Um, I strive to be a local game store. I currently don't sell on the internet. Um, I've got my magic uh, inventory is available at grovegamersguild.com. You can go there and look at that inventory, but I don't ship stuff out currently because I want to be local. I don't, I don't want to buy up the local economy and ship it off somewhere else. I, I want to provide for the locals. So that's what I've been trying to do. And uh, Lately, we've had a little increase in Pokemon. We've had uh, a great increase in Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, started up, I'm an official tournament store for that, running Pokemon Leagues, running Pegasus Challenges for Yu-Gi-Oh, and hoping to maybe get sneak peeks at some point in the future for them. You know, I've got a lot of board games, role-playing games. Uh, I keep some DVDs. I've got several back issues of comics. Uh, just trying to get my fingers into all those kind of genre-related stuff. But yeah, being up over 20% last year was really good. 
Um, I don't know. Maybe that's just because I get a lot more walk-in traffic. I'm not like somebody has to tell you, hey, this is where you go to find those things. So that, that's been a help. Um, so definitely that's that's been good. Uh, I think one of the things I'm going to hit on this year is that I'd really like for those of you who enjoy coming to the Guild, who've been to the Guild, who, who like what I provide, I'd like for you to... Uh, it's hard for me to ask this. I'd like for you to brag about it. I'd like for you to tell other people, hey, we got this store in Mountain Grove. We like it. You should check it out. Um, like I said, if, if I'm not carrying something that I could, uh, not stocking something that, that would sell, i definitely change it. The Yu-Gi-Oh crowd turned me around. Uh, I do keep quite a bit of Cards Against Humanity for you folks that like a little bit of adult uh, stuff, and I'm trying to expand that line a little bit. So, um, you know, there there are other things that I can do. You know, if if the if the people are out there wanting to do that. So again, that's what I'm looking at doing. That's what I kind of been doing. Uh, we bought a building this past year when we moved up here, so I'm here to stay. Don't think that the guild is going anywhere. Uh, there's no reason for it to. If I can live off less than minimum for three or four years since I quit my day job, then apparently I can keep doing it. So I'm going to keep doing it. So it's here to stay. Don't think that it's a flash in the pan. Seven plus years still rolling. So we're here. Um, Walk-in traffic, like I said, is up. Uh, we're trying to do a little bit of stuff with the gaming community. In that uh, Thanksgiving, we did a Gamers Thanksgiving had about 30 people in here. Really nice time. We cooked uh, two turkeys and a ham. Had so many sides I could have fed the whole town. It was just a wonderful experience. If you didn't make it out for that, look for it next year. Jane and I are definitely, definitely going to do that again. Haven't mentioned her, but my wife is awesome. She is a big part of why this place is going like it is. You don't see her all the time. She does still work a day job, but without her support, I wouldn't be here. So, uh, big shout out to her. Uh, she does a lot that not, you don't always see or know about. Um, signage and helping me sort cards. And she makes a lot of her stuff. Jane's chains, she calls them. She's got chain mail, dice bags, jewelry. She does a lot of stuff like that. You should check those out. Um, she's very talented, very creative. Um, been married to her over 30 years and... Uh, we're just getting started, people, so hope you all find that as well. Um, trying to think of what else. Oh, for New Year's, we had a really nice turnout for that, probably uh, 2025, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe you guys give me some feedback. I did do a free chaos draft. Did I, did I buy your attendance? Would you come out if there wasn't a free chaos draft next year? So, you know, let me know. Did you have a good time there? Most people seem to. Um, and we had, uh, like I said, a really good turnout. Had a, had a little bit of food and stuff there. That turned out really well. So that was pretty good as well. So we're going to try to do more stuff like that. I don't know what the next event is. We'll try. May not. Maybe the 4th of July weekend or Memorial Day. I, I don't know. We may just pick something wild and try to try to get some attendance for so anyway, we're going to try to do some more of those and, and get the gamer community together with, with that kind of thing. Anyway, uh, like I said, I may have a few more words. We're just going to stitch all these together. Thanks. All right, so I'm just going to keep rolling with the notes that I had made here and uh, add a little bit more on. Um, you can tell I'm still in the same shirt, still the same day, still the same deal. I just took a breather to look at some of my notes over here. But uh, again, I want to ask for feedback from y'all. Uh, I'd like to ask that you share my videos. If you think they're worth sharing, uh, you like and comment on them, whether they be YouTube posted or Facebook posted. And uh, just give me some feedback. I'm making these for the local people. I, I don't care if somebody on the other side of the world sees it. It's not going to have much use to them. It's really for just my local people. So I really hope you guys can, uh, can share that around and maybe we can grow grow our family because it seems to kind of ebb and flow. That's just a natural part of gaming. Uh, people game as they have money, and when they don't have money, they don't game as much. And that, that makes sense because if you come into my store enough, you'll hear me preaching that you take care of all the important things first, and then you make sure that part of the important things is an entertainment. And it may not be here, but your life needs a break from the day-to-day. 
And if I can provide that for some of you, I'm super excited to do so. And if I'm not the place for that, I hope that you can find one because that is a, a big part of living is enjoying your life. So make sure that you, you find a way to do that. Make sure you find a way to enjoy your life. And uh, that's what we're trying to do here. So give me some feedback. Let me know if there's a way I can make that better or something I can do about it. Um, if you haven't liked my Facebook page, I wish you'd go ahead and do that. Like that page. Friend me on Facebook, Darren Dobbs. Friend me. Uh, because of the way Facebook's set up, unless I just don't know or you can just train me, uh, for me to invite you to events that I create at Grove Gamers Guild, I need you to be a friend of mine. I can't just invite all the people who like the page to an event. You have to be my friend. So friend me, Darren Dobbs, on, on Facebook, uh, and I can invite you when we have events, you know. Um, so just uh, to catch up, in case you don't know, currently what I'm open is on Tuesdays from 12 to 8, Wednesdays 12 to 8. I don't have any events running those days. I've been getting a lot of work done since I started the first of the year. Thursdays is uh, 12 to 9 and we have a coloring group that meets at 6 30 to 8 30. that's also approximately the same time as a pokemon league so if you play pokemon come out for that if you like to color a lot of adults men and women uh some kids you know but it's a great social event more than anything my wife loves to color she's part of that so that's going on on thursdays fridays is of course friday night magic uh so we've got friday night magic every week most of those you'll see as we get rolling in this year are going to be drafts that seems to be the most popular event I've got at the store for Magic currently. And so, therefore, we're going to do mostly drafts. I'm going to keep one modern a month on there, and then we may we may mess around with some other stuff. Standard, don't worry about Standard. Standard's got its own place. That's on Saturday nights. So Saturday nights at 6.30, we're going to be cranking off Standard Showdown coming this season. So that's going to be free for you to play. we got those Showdown packs to give out. So come out for those. Uh, Saturday nights are also when I do the Pegasus Challenge for the Yu-Gi-Oh! players. That's going to be at 7, so that's in the advanced format if you do play Yu-Gi-Oh!, so come out for those. That's a Saturday. Saturdays will also be when uh, pre-releases and, and those kinds of things happen, so watch for those. And uh, that's pretty much our week, closed on Sundays and Mondays. Um, hope I'm not missing anything. I'd love to have a board game night if we had a board game group. So if you're part of a board game group that would like a place to meet, talk to me. If you've got a role-playing group that would like to have a place to meet on a regular basis, talk to me. We've got space. I'm paying heating and cooling to keep the place going. There's tables. So talk to me. We'll see if we can work something out. Um, I would love to be a place for your group to hang out if you don't currently have one. So that's kind of what's going on here. That's kind of where we're at. Uh, looking to the future, I would say that I'm looking to grow 20% again this year. Uh, I don't see why not. I'd like to grow another 20% this year. We've got a full year this year here at the new location, so let's see what that does. And um, I don't know. We may have to branch into a little bit of online sales um, just to move some of the product that doesn't move locally so you may see me actually doing some of that and that would be why if i can't move it locally then you know rather than just dumping it a couple times a year when i go to gen con or a big big show i may start doing a little online sale so watch watch for maybe announcements on that um but really what i'd like most is to get my regulars to to help me build our clientele build Build the people who come to the store. The more people that come to the store, the more people you have to play with. Different games. We've got tons of space and room to do so. So let's let's work on that. And that's one of the things I want to see is headed towards. Uh, I've made a few changes here at the first year, the way the store looks. If you haven't been in, check that out. Uh, probably be making a few more changes as we go along. Uh, some different displays, moving things around, organization-wise, working on that. Anyway, that pretty much wraps it up for the notes I got right now. Hey, everybody. I'm going to drop back in with just uh, a few more words to say. I pretty much got it all out last week when I made the, the first three parts of this. Um, since then, though, we did have a pre-release weekend. And uh, I'll be honest, I got pretty down about it. It's the, the uh, slowest 
least attended pre-release weekend for Magic I, I've ever had, I believe, since I opened. Maybe those first couple, which I don't remember real well, maybe they weren't quite as well attended. Uh, but I just ran one event back then. So uh, I do get ups and downs, you know, but uh, I'm not going to see it as a trend until it happens more than once. We've got Dominaria coming out in, uh, what is it, April, I guess. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be a great big attendance for that. So anyway, that's that's pretty much what's happened uh, since last week. I pretty much hit all the the high notes or the state of the store. Um, I've got some conventions I'm going to be doing this year, so you may see uh, my hours change a little bit, or maybe uh, I get my son in here to help out on some weekends or whatever um, when I'm doing like uh, VisionCon or OzCon, which are uh, the next two that I, have, that I have coming up, February and uh, April. You know, primarily, Jane and I just want to thank all you guys who are regulars here at the Guild uh, at the your FLGS. Hopefully we're an FLGS to you. Uh, we'd like to thank you for all the time you spend here, the money you spend here, hopefully the friends you make here, and uh, the good times you have here hopefully continue. Um, again, that's really why I'm doing it, believe it or not. Maybe sometimes I get a little cranky or uh, I'll go off on something, but I really do enjoy bringing uh, the space to people since it's not something I had when I was younger. So I hope it's appreciated. I hope that uh, we can keep growing it, keep doing stuff with it. And I look forward to uh, having another great year and hopefully doing a state of the store in uh, January of 2019. Till then, check me out. Uh, I'm going to try to do more videos. Check me out on YouTube or my Facebook. Um, check out the Pearls from the Earl of Squirrel. Uh, that's my weekly deal where I tell you what's going on at the store, which is kind of the same, but it changes a little bit from week to week. And then there's uh, rantings from the Deranged Tournament, and that's where I'm going to post pretty much on YouTube only some rantings. I may use a little language on those. And then uh, box openings, and uh, I don't know if you've got something you want me to do. Let me know. I'll, I'll look into it and see if we can get it done. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I do appreciate you. And uh, we'll see you here at the Guild next time you're in. Thanks.